Now we're going to show you how to set up some useful preferences in 3ds Max. To do that, we're going to go to Customize, Preferences, and you'll see the Preference Setting window. We're going to start under the General tab. Under the General tab, we're first going to adjust the Scene Undo level. This is going to control how many times you can hit Undo. I'm going to set my levels at 50. I don't think it's very often that I go beyond 50 steps that I want to undo. Later on, I'm going to show you some workflows that are going to help us cut down on how many levels we need, but you still want a nice amount so you can go back and you don't have to restart editing an object from scratch. I will warn you though, don't go crazy and crank these levels way up. I have heard about it kind of corrupting files and creating some problems with 3ds Max when it's saving that much information. The next thing we're going to want to adjust is under the Files tab. The first thing we're going to do as we're going to click Convert Local File Paths to Relative. This is important with the whole project folder that we were showing you earlier. This will delete the file path in front of everything within the project folder. That way you can send this project folder to someone else. And the next thing we're going to look at is the auto backup. First of all, we want to make sure that it's enabled, and we're going to change the number of auto back files to five. It doesn't really matter how many you want, I just like to keep five and you can set, the, set up the backup interval to say 8. Auto Backup is going to save you the worry of having to back up your own files. Choosing 5 Auto Back files will mean that it will save 5 separate files. You can adjust that up or down however many files you might want. And the backup interval is set to minutes and we set it to 8. This means every 8 minutes it will save a new file. So this is very helpful in case 3ds Max crashes, you have a power outage, whatever the case may be. The next thing we're going to look at is in viewports. We're going to make sure that the zoom about mouse point in orthographic and perspective view are both chosen. This will allow us to zoom about a mouse point. It's very helpful later on. We'll show you why. It's going to turn off enable gamma correction. So we're going to click OK. And the last thing we're going to want to do is set up our project units. We can do that by going to customize, unit setup, and we can change our units. We can change it to, to metric, we can go to US, we can have decimal, we can have fractional inches, feet with fractional inches, feet with decimal inches. That's what I like to work in. You can, you can even set up the lighting units. So we'll click OK and we set up our settings.